Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is the square root of 2 minus 1 to the power of 6. Now, let's provide a solution from here. The first step is to let square root of 2 minus 1 be equal to x. So the question is, what is x to the power of 6? Right, so we have that x is equal to square root of 2 minus 1. Let's call this equation 1. So the next step is that we can take minus 1 on the left hand side so that we have x plus 1. This is equal to square root of 2. Now, the next step is to square on both sides. So that now, x plus 1 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a plus b, raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. This is equal to, now, square root of 2 to the power of 2. This means we eliminate the square root of 2, so we have 2. Now, let's take 2x plus 1 on the right-hand side, so that we have x squared, this is equal to 2, minus 2x, minus 1. And this implies that x squared, this is equal to 2 minus 1, this is 1, minus 2x. Let's call this equation 2. Now, now, let's proceed here. We have x to the power of 2. Let's raise this to the power of 2. This is equal to 1 minus 2x raised to the power of 2. So here we have x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. This is x to the power of 4. Then this is equal to 1 minus 2x to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Now let's apply this algebraic identity so that we have x to the power of 4. This is equal to 1 squared plus 2x raised to the power of 2, then minus 2 multiplying by 1, multiplying by 2x. So that now, here we have x to the power of 4. This is equal to 1 plus 2x to the power of 2. This is 4x to the power of 2, then minus 4x. Now we have x to the power of 4. This is 1 plus 4x squared minus 4x. Now from equation 2, we have x squared, this is the same thing as 1 minus 2x, this is equation 2. So let's substitute x squared with 1 minus 2x, so that we have x to the power 4, this is equal to 1 plus 4, multiplying by 1, minus 2x, minus 4x. Now this is x to the power of 4. This is equal to 1 plus 4 times 1, this is 4. 4 times minus 2x, this is minus 8x. Then subtract 4x. So that now, we have x to the power of 4. This is equal to 1 plus 4, this is 5. Minus 8x minus 4x, this is minus 12x. Now, since we are solving for x to the power of 6, let's multiply both signs by x to the power of 4. So we have x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 2. Now since we are solving for x to the power of 6, let's multiply both signs. We have x to the power of 4 here. Let's multiply with x to the power of 2 on both signs. So this is 5 minus 12x multiplying by x to the power of 2. 
So x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 2, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. So this means we have x to the power of 4 plus 2, which is equal to 6. Then this is equal to 5 minus 12x multiplying by x to the power of 2. So here we have 5 times x to the power of 2. This is 5x to the power of 2. Then minus 12x multiplied by x to the power of 2. But we have that x to the power of 2 here. This is the same thing as 1 minus 2x. So let's substitute 1 minus 2x from here. So we have 5 multiplied by 1 minus 2x. Then minus 12x multiplying by 1 minus 2x. So the next step is we have 5 times 1, this is 5, minus 5 times minus 2x, this is 10x, then minus 12x times 1, this is minus 12x, then minus 12x times minus 2x, this is plus 24x to the power of 2. So this is 5 minus 10x minus 12x. This is minus 22x, then plus 24x to the power of 2. Now we can substitute x to the power of 2 by 1 minus 2x. So we have 5 minus 22x, then plus 24, multiplying by x to the power of 2, which is 1 minus 2x. So let's open the parentheses here. We have 5 minus 22x plus 24 times 1, this is 24, minus 24 times 2x, this is minus 48x. Now, we have 5 plus 24, this is equal to 29. Then we have minus 22x minus 48x, this is minus 70x. Now we have x to the power of 6. This is 29 minus 70x. But if we recall, if we recall, we are saying that let x be equal to root 2, subtract 1. So let's, sub let's substitute x with root 2 minus 1. So x to the power of 6, this is equal to 29 minus 70 multiplied by root 2 minus 1. So that now, here we have 29 minus 70 times root 2. So this is 70 root 2. Then minus 70 times minus 1. This is plus 70. So that now, x to the power of 6, this is equal to 29 plus 70. And this is equal to 99. Then subtract 70 root 2. Now, from here, we can substitute x here, which is root 2, minus 1 to the power of 6. This is equal to 99 minus 70 root 2. And this is the solution to this math problem. So, can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.